Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's Wednesday, November the 16th. We're getting, starting to get things ready for this Saturday night, November the 19th, to be our last race of the season. We're racing at Lakeview Motor Speedway with the American Racer Modified Series. Y'all come along, we're gonna be doing a little bit of race car stuff and also got to put a jack on this trailer. Let me bring you up here. Our tongue jack messed up here on our trailer that we race out of. So I pulled it off and I think it was like 89 bucks for a new manual one. My wife looked online and found us a 12 volt one. I think it was a hundred and some change. But I'll definitely try to put you a link in the end here. It comes with a bag to go over the head unit when it's installed. So it has a light on it somewhere. Here's a light. So when you're trying to hook your trailer and unhook your trailer, you can turn your light on. There's the rocker switch for up and down. And it's a one wire unit, the best I understand. The only wire that comes out of it is a hot wire. You have to make sure that this gets your ground to your frame of your trailer and also make sure your battery or your plug, if you're robbing power through your plugs grounded to your trailer. Yeah, that's a couple things that we're doing. Oh, yeah. Let me go show you another project we're working on. And there's your manual handle, like a bypass. So if something goes wrong or it malfunctions, you're not trapped somewhere with your jack down or up or whatever the case may be. And I'll make sure to try to put a link in the description of this thing to our Amazon affiliate link so if you click on that and pick up something that we do or just do your normal shopping after you clicked our link we'll get a couple pennies on the dollar or something like that and it'll help us out here a lot at gerald farms for y'all that follow us on facebook you've seen the thousand gallon tank and 500 gallon tank that we posted on there we're gonna get rid of here's a gooseneck trailer that we picked up we me and my son picked it up together to make a toy hauler out of it we're gonna hauler four wheelers and side by sides and stuff like that on it it was originally had a thousand gallon tank that sat down half under the trailer had a wood floor and it had a platform built up here about five foot high for a helicopter to land on when they were spraying chemicals, this was a trailer that they would use for a landing pad and to reload the helicopter. But yeah, this will be probably a project y'all might see some of coming up down the road. So make sure y'all hit the thumbs up for us, subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Whether they're fabricating, welding, farming, dirt track racing, mud bogging, whatever we're getting into. What we got here is I made me a ground wire that's gonna go under one of my bolts so I can run it to my battery on the inside. And we're gonna clean the bottom up of where the bolt goes. Let me get my grinder. Okay, see right there? I ground around that bolt, got it clean. I ground around this one where my ground's gonna go and I'm gonna put a little grease on it so that way it don't rust and it'll continue to have a good ground for me. Okay, got a little grease here. Just put it all around your bolt hole. Cover that fresh metal up. Do the same thing on the bottom of your jack stand. Then what I do, I 
take my wire lug that's going in the crack, grease it up to. Now, I ain't no professional now, keep that in mind. But my little bit of experience with this kind of stuff, even your car battery, if you put, I put grease on my battery cables, just a little, not enough to make it seal, nothing crazy for gases, but if you put a little bit on there, you don't usually have battery terminal connection issues by taking this off. So it'll drop down through my frame like so. Just like that. Looking good. And it comes with these here like little dig-in washers, I think to help it get a ground. A bolt to ensure a good ground, exactly right. Don't know that I'm gonna put them in to be honest, cause I'm making sure mine's gonna have a good ground without it, cause I ground it and cleaned all the metal off. I think we're gonna leave that out. Now, I want to take my wire, my supplied ground wire that I made, and get it under here. It's a tight fit. don't grind it and all that I can see why you would need the display washers or whatever their actual real name is but for doing it this way I don't see why I would need them because we're getting a good ground the way we done it I might put washers on the head of them bolts. All right, quick change of plans. I took the wire out from under it. We're gonna go on top. So I've gotta clean this metal off, put more grease, and put this wire on top. Cause it was just holding the jack, not sitting flat like I wanted it. Get a good ground there now. Again. Alright, I got the jumper cables hooked to it just to test it out before we run the wire. Let's see what she does. Oh yeah, it's picking it right off the jack stands. That way y'all can see it. Good deal. Looks like that's gonna do exactly what the, what we need. About forgot, we gotta check the light. Look at that. Good deal.